Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Legend where, you know, honestly, this game, I'm feeling pretty disconnected from the world around me. I mean, we're doing our own little thing here and obviously it's not going totally ideally, uh, but our plan doesn't really touch anybody else yet. The only, the only thing that has happened is that green settling in made me want to grab a region faster. So I sort of feel like we maybe want to like reach out and, and try to meet other people. I'm assuming the fact that this ocean region has not been captured means that there is nothing in it to, to capture. It's probably, uh, probably free of fortresses. And it looks like, I mean, there's land right over there. Uncaptured land, probably worth noting. So yeah, maybe, um, maybe at some point soon, maybe even next, we should pick up shipyard and have a little bit of a look around because it may it may turn out to be the case that there is some useful way we could be interacting at the very least potentially like trading with other players right so that's a thing worth looking into uh, another thing worth looking into probably is our empire plan because of course We are talking about se uh, about settling two new cities and like pretty soon, right? This one's probably gonna put down around turn 60, but this one's gonna be ready to put down well before. So if we, if we kept this empire plan with a fifth city, of course it would be a hundred influence, which we can have, we'll, we'll have a hundred influence, no problem. Uh, this, on the other hand, becomes a little bit tricky. Yeah, I mean, we're never going to get to 240 either. So I guess I guess we're still on plus 20 uh, plus 20 percent science. And yeah, I don't have to do anything. We will we will pass that hundred point threshold, no problem. So I guess for the moment, let's just keep at what we're keeping at here. Uh, we are going to want more governors too. So I need to, I need to maybe step up dust production. Uh, everybody's doing stuff that's really important though. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little loath to bring anybody off of industry focus. Once the, once the, the settler is finished in the capital, obviously it'll be a, uh, a good time to move the capital back to something else, but never mind. I was about to say, but I'd much rather it be food, but uh, <laughs> we're going to have to put somebody on, on dust. So the gold has ended. Definitely rerun the gold. Okay, that's a big that's a big part of the loss. What is the extra winter effect? Bo all borders are temporarily opened. Okay. Does not affect us in the slightest. So... Still building this thing for our faction quest. Uh, yeah, we should probably pop the army out of Kajnor and have them go scoop up the various pearls that are laying around. But aside from that, we're just continuing to plug away here, I guess. I am worried, though, that in a in a game where we're playing completely non-aggressively, we're just behind where I would like to be. There is no reason that you have to interact with the other players. You can absolutely win without doing that. But if you're going to win an entirely build an internal machine style victory, your internal machine has to be functioning a little bit better than, than ours currently is, I think. So I really do want to just go back to food focus, just really pump food here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build right of way. Actually, okay, we do need to industry focus to get this done, um, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I, I'm gonna stay on food until we're close to having the, the roads up in other regions, and then we'll we'll rush it from there. So Alondarin has only one village, but it is already under control. What was the quest for this other region? Oh, right, it's colonization based. Well, easy enough. Provided that we can we can put down without getting murdered. So, there is Northern Loam here, which obviously is, is pretty compelling, but there's no industry around that at all. Here we have some crystal flowers, which is fine. 
Uh, a lot of the cold anomalies are basically of this form, just like add a ton of science to the to the region or to the to the tile. Yeah. Okay. This is a little. This is a little crummy. There is no location here <laughs> where there where there is basically any food at all, except for right on this side. And in this place, we have a lot of other problems. I think my intention is to settle here. We have a reasonable um, amount of industry, and we can just build ourselves some food structures. And we're benefiting from one from one. Um, anomaly and we can kind of build towards some others it's certainly not ideal i don't want to settle near where the two anomalies are clustered though because there's like no food and no industry in that region which is difficult you can overcome that problem with enough dust but i don't th i don't think we have enough dust I, <laughs> I do not think that we are in that position all right so do i want to hold off on putting down pillars until the first atonement circle has completed its settle Probably, but we also have to make sure that we actually have money when that happens. That said, definitely can't pull you off of dust or off of industry. Probably shouldn't pull you off of industry for three more turns. Definitely need to get this done as quickly as possible. So... Yeah, God, I just want to... I want to just take advantage of my husbandry center, you know? It's just... All right, I think we got to do this. This is the value of having a lot of population, is that you even have the capability to do that. But it's still not what I want to be doing. And actually, another thing I like a lot about, um, about taking on Shipyard as our next technology is that we don't have to spend any influence to get the benefit of it. Okay, brown has been marked. I'm sure green has met everybody because they're, you know, out there on the ocean. Uh, what is the capital doing in terms of science right now? 68. So... I still don't actually think we want to push up for the percentage boost just yet. I think we want to take the final point here, which is even larger. But yeah, Zarcha Atenal is maybe not leveling up as quickly as I might like. We're going to need, like, a hell of a lot more red sang. Okay, so on this turn, I am not going to have the settler move forward for a while. Let's let the, um, let the, the boss army that we know is roaming the region expend all of its movement before it potentially sees me. All right, so grab those. We're at 37 pearls, which is... That's enough to build something interesting. God, we have so much building to catch up on. We're <laughs> I'm feeling really behind. All right, we're just going to wait a second here. Uh, Kazar has been tamed by green. Chaka still belongs to the roving clans. And it looks like there's still plenty of unoccupied territory. Still, still lots of room for the third Urkin to show up as well. All right, I think it's been long enough. Let's step in here slowly. All right, don't want to end up moving adjacent to any any hostile armies. So, nope. That's I said here. You know what I told you to do. Also, check that out. Very unusual. A uh, a watchtower that's not on the zone border. So let's just go ahead and pop this now. It is likely that we're going to want the bonus approval when the new city goes down. May as well set it off prior to uh, prior to the cost going up. Okay, you guys have that to aim for. All right. Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't give them a settle order. I gave them a move order after I accidentally gave them the, the bad move order. Right, go for it. Do it before they show up. 
Okay. So, unwanted oxidation. Good news is, we're not building any items with strategic resources anyway. And a quest has been given to do the thing. Go to particular ruins, contribute adamantian to get rewards. Uh, also, we did this. Hooray. Maintain a minimum of three influence in your new city for five turns to get pacification. Uh, and we should probably be moving the army in that direction because we're going we're gonna to need to put down this hostile army. Uh, our very special polyp has gained a level. Not a very great level, but, you know, we'll, we'll encounter better levels later. So, over here, my inclination is to go Alchemy Workshop into Right-of-Way. Maybe it should be the other way around. We do need, we do need money pretty badly. Because, like, we're talking about 450-ish for a hero. Oh, no, sorry. Hugely more than that. Wow, that went up. That's, like, a, that's a lot of dust. Um, is it sensible to to do this? Does it make uh, makes that very slow? But yeah, I mean, New City's gonna need a governor, and I'm about to put down two pillars, so that's gonna stretch our dust even further. I do not feel like I am managing this correctly. I just feel like we're always desperate. All right, you cannot be on this. You have to be doing other things. Yeah, I, I think that makes sense. I think by the by the time the cult of by, by the time the seed storage is done, winter will be over probably. All right, so three turns until the first birth. That'll help. Or you know what? Maybe we got to stick to this. This is the fastest way to get new population in this region, right? Because I just have to keep it up for five turns. Yeah, and that'll give me two points of population right away. We'll rebuild the third village sometime after. You know, we'll worry, we'll worry about that one later. Come down, come down here, start running toward the combat that is now brewing. And I... Just double-checking. Okay, yes, it is going to be 100. I mean, it was very simple math, but you will never catch me being confident about any math I've done ever under any circumstances, even though by some measures I am a mathematician. <laughs> Listen, if you combine the one quarter of my mathematics degree with the three quarters of my other mathematics degree. We did something. Oh, we finished, yeah, Virtus Temple, right. Uh, somebody beat us to the Alchemic Institute. Who was it? Was it red? Is it, I'm just going on a limb here. No, it was purple, in fact. Hmm. I do not have a strong plan for how we are going to win this game. Chaka has been claimed by Blue. Blue of the Kapaku. Also, somebody built a guardian. I think this piece of art is really cool. Okay, yeah, so the, the guardian fighting unit, <laughs> the ruin for that is as far away from us as it could possibly be. I, I feel like we're just like living outside of the game. I mean, nobody, nobody to blame but myself, but it does, it does feel a little bit bad. So, do we want to just push for the flat food production? Probably. The city is still small and could still use some bonus flat values. Learning and suffering proceed apace at Verda's temple, as screams of enlightenment and ecstasy echo from the buildings day and night. Dust is much more than we ever imagined. It is no simple spice or mineral that we once presumed. Were people eating the dust? I mean, so like they find this stuff, right? And it seems to be a substance that has all kinds of magical properties. It is beyond comprehension, but what is definitely known is that people who have a lot of dust and people who come into contact with dust frequently have the ability to do things that it seems like they shouldn't be able to do. But I know what the dust is, and I definitely think you should not put it inside your body. <laughs> I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to reconstruct the thought process that would lead a person to know the things that I just said that they know and go, yeah, let's sprinkle that on my eggs. 
It teems and writhes and endlessly transforms itself into a million hued aspects, almost as if it was alive. Sometimes it makes a man a savant of numbers. Sometimes it makes him able to scale a wall in three bounds. Sometimes it makes his heart hammer so hard it erupts from his chest in a crimson fire. Do not put this in your body. <laughs> I am certain that long ago our forgotten ancestors mastered this dust and enslaved it to do their bidding in miraculous ways. We are far from that point, but our path is clear. We have climbed onto the foothills of knowledge and caught a glimpse of boundless lands beyond, but we must keep climbing until dust contains no more mysteries than does water. But to reach that place, we must know more of the magic of dust and how it has come to permeate Ariga. We must study the land itself, the anomalies that populate it like gifts from a mad but loving god. And there is something else. One of my inquisitors, Reza, has made it her personal mission to fully understand the circumstances of my brother's death. Painstaking work into Verda's expeditions and known whereabouts over the seasons preceding his death have indicated that he had established his own private sanctuary. But I move with too much haste. Planning, like pain, must be done with patience and precision and 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 consent let's let's just throw that in there i will let reza uh, carry on her investigations once we have learned more of the greater answers we can more easily concentrate on these smaller ones so how did our brother stumble upon capabilities that were mastered by the ancients long before it is time to learn more of ariga's ancient dust riddled places and ready your people for further investigations so exploit six anomalies within your empire in order to study the origins and magics of Ariga, and when you do so, you will receive the winter versions of the pillars. Hey, that sounds good. Uh, we are definitely exploiting six anomalies, right? Like, way more than that. We, uh, well, you know, I don't have that many cities. Hold on. One, two... Did I build? No, I did not build into that. So one, two, three, four... Yeah, I guess we actually are on four. Never mind that thing I was just saying. Five, six, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're totally on six right now. So I don't know if that's just going to finish or if it means six more than you currently have. I would be surprised, though. Usually the games, when, you, when it wants you to expand over new stuff, it usually says new stuff. Well, I mean, this might be a good moment to expand over some new anomalies and just find out, right? And that's a pretty low-cost building. I think I'm going to dust focus a little bit harder here. Um, I kind of wish I hadn't put down these pillars. I sort of I sort of wish I had waited a second to see uh, about this quest, but oh well. All right, we've got our other settler out, and uh, we can put down over another anomaly over here. Although it looks like we really don't have a lot of options here. Is that the only? That is the only anomaly in the region. Now, granted, it is a good one. I do, I do like the igloo larvae. I don't like the land around it very much, though. Do we put down like right here and then expand into the forest? Is that the plan? These are just not very good tiles, <laughs> frankly. Uh, keep in mind, of course, this, this is a 2-1 tile under normal circumstances. You can see in the uh, the tooltip there, under non-winter circumstances. But this tile right here is legitimately just cold rocks, just plus one science, and that's not gonna get any better when winter ends. But yeah, I think the plan is something like this. I don't much care for it. Let's get some, let's get some right away stuff done. You know, I should build a Burdecki somewhere. Hold on a second. Let me, let me update the Burdecki design with extra movement. Yeah, you're fast. I think what we're going to do, because we're about to have shipyard, I'm going to send a Burdecki up here to explore this landmass while we move this army down to fight. And I'm hoping that the I'm hoping that the uh, troops in the garrison will be enough to deal with the boss because I really don't <laughs> I don't necessarily trust these base stat dudes against the level of enemy that we will be seeing now.
and I especially don't trust our settler against them. That's, that's pretty bad. Okay, yes, we did in fact already have. Cool, so we got some cold engineering, and sure enough, they just came out of nowhere. Very annoying, very annoying stuff. Well, obviously I retreat. Or do I? Do I pull in the reinforcements from Endgear and try to just get through this? No, I, I retreat. I mean, I can, like, definitely safely move back to here at least. Uh, so, increase your notoriety and develop your network to collect information. Produce a minimum of 30 influence for five turns in, in one of your cities. 30 influence in a single city. Oh, well, if they're going to back off, I can make a run for the, the new region instead. Although, do we know for sure that the new region is safe? That village is pacified, but... Mm, I'm not sure that I do know that that is safe. Maybe I should just back up? I, I mean, obviously, I want to go settle. All right, we are one tech off of the next era. What do we want to do here? We have so many things. I mean, more food is always good. I think we're, I think we're, we are in try to stimulate internal growth mode. I mean, there's two, there's two situations or there's two possible solutions here. Realistically, if we're feeling behind, we can try to use our kind of crummy resource levels to stimulate internal growth and try to just catch up, do a better job of improving our rate of gain than the, uh, the AI are going to do of improving theirs. Or we could try to go to war and take some good cities from a player who has built some good cities. What I will say about that plan is <laughs> that 18,351, uh, I don't know exactly what we would be up against, but we do know that at the very least, the green uh, Green's army contains dredges. Because uh, we got attacked by that dredge that time, right? And dredges are tough. That is, that is not a trivial opponent to have to fight. I don't necessarily... I don't think that's a good idea. I think that war is probably not on the table. And because we don't have a functional army now, we would be in sort of that same position of having to build up from way behind. I think that trying to fix our our internal numbers here is going to be the way forward, but I also think that it's going to be a very tough path. So do we have the ability? I, I'm assuming I don't have the ability to get to 30. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to in the next era research probably public works in order to be able to push up to 30 um, 30 influence per turn. And I will definitely say that we do not we do not have anywhere near the sort of industrial backing that we would need to be able to threaten building the Temple of the Earth's core. So probably just finishing our faction quest and then uh, running with it from there, not really on the table either. Now, finishing our faction quest and attempting the quest victory is something that, that perhaps could happen. We could give that a try. How many more turns are we? Okay, two more turns on that. Okay, there are enemies, but they are out of movement and will not be able to attack us before we settle. Yeesh. Bad region. 10 2 4 4 against 8 6 3 4. I actually think we're better off just settling here. We could build we could build toward the anomaly from here, but I actually I think the uh, there's enough bad tiles around the anomaly that it's actually not correct to go over there. All right, and we should be able to hire a hero, right? No, that's sorry. High 600s. Okay. That's fine. Next turn. For the moment, I'm going to stay I'm going to stay dust devoted. We're going to going to keep this up. Make sure we press this button so that the settler does not get devoured. Oh, right. I should also probably pop this dude out of Matanche and, and actually do the exploring. 
Alright, we don't necessarily need an army that is capable of defeating these enemies, we just need an army that is capable of starting combat with them. Alright, most cavalry units have a base movement speed of 6, so the improved movement obviously makes them pretty quick. Remember that they lose their capacities when they're in transport ship form, so they will not get the extra two movement as a boat. But fortunately, we're, we're crossing a very narrow strait here. And I accomplished a quest. Okay, somebody finished that thing. That doesn't affect us at all. So uh, strategic weapons and stuff no longer cost extra strategics. Now we can buy a hero. Who do we want? There is a Weirisigo available, and I'm a big fan of Weirisigo, especially in this new city where we did actually settle on top of trees. Yeah, I think that that, that makes sense. We, I, I suppose we could look at the other ones, but it's hard to imagine we're going to see better than that. Uh, yeah, a lot of these are pretty pretty similar. Sable Deceiver Bayari Kula has Dust Efficiency 3, which is cool. Ooh, also, a Mazari hero with Spying 4. That's unusual. Uh, yeah, you're not very exciting. You're not very exciting. Yeah, it's not not any big surprises here. Uh, the only thing that is really worth considering is um, and on the Seer. But we're picking this we're picking this hero up late enough in the game that I wonder if we'll have time to Yeah, and he spent a skill point in the wrong side of the tree already. Yeah, let's just take the way Rasigo. Can't go wrong with that. And then this city still needs one. We'll we'll get that, and then we'll refocus people. Although I'm a little surprised to see how much dust we are not making. Ah, nope that that explains it. We lost a level of a uh, level of happiness. Well, sadly, there's not much for it. Uh, please get this done. Once Kajnor is finished with the altar, we pro oh you don't even have an empire. What are you doing? What are you doing over here? Got to do that. Oh right. Also, our new empire plan does not give us the uh, the bonus dust from people working on dust. That's a big part of why we lost so much. All right. Sadly, we cannot get into position to start launching attacks this turn. I would really like to get the the Erisys while they are effectively between the two cities, though. That would be convenient. Okay, we did the thing. Huzzah! Let's get you over onto some better values. Uh, and then we are going to have to rebuild that boss village that somebody thoughtlessly burned to the ground. And also some of these extractors. All right, the, the annoying ransacking has already begun. Okay, definitely want to get on land. Oh, you know what? Those are, yeah, e even with that being land troops, I still want to get out of the water as quickly as possible. They're crappy transport ships, right? But there are two of them to my one crappy transport ship, so... Uh, once you're done with this, what do we what do we want to have built here next? Oh yeah, the alchemy workshop. That makes sense. We probably don't need to like. I need to get this other governor right, and obviously the earlier the better. Hoping our new dude can just find a bunch of ruins to search, or maybe um, maybe we could get a an eclipse or something. So let's lock in that combat. You made it up here. That is a ruin for something. Why is that glowing? It's not associated with any, any quest right now, but it must have been earlier. So inside the Empire currently, two sources of each strategic. Wow, just one tier two luxury in six regions? You know, 
I don't think I'm uh, I don't think I'm exactly mastering our situation here, but also you have to admit there have been some elements of not awesome luck. So, some of this is just really not working out the way we would like. Okay, uh, we should probably include the guy who can shoot stuff in the battle a little bit earlier. And this is definitely going to be one of those keep my actual units safe type things. So, these guys have sweep strike back, but they also just have circular attacks. It is bad to be adjacent to them. If I run to... Uh, you know what? I'm going to stay exactly where I am. Everybody... Everybody who is not militia, stay still. Let's let these guys come forward and be be confronted by the wall. Then we will begin attacks. But I wanted to make sure that I was going to be in a place that was relatively secure. And you know, honestly, I think the Talsam Warlock probably does just stay back. Uh, so remember, because Wei Rasigo is a wild walker, he has that forest rage. So we definitely want him to be shooting from the trees. And definitely want you to step forward and lock these guys in place. Actually, it would be best if you would step to the side here so that this one can get in range. Oh, it doesn't quite work, because sadly the new one is at the top of the initiative order. Well, it's still best that we move around like that. Okay. Easy enough, and no damage on non-militia units. Now, we're not probably uh, going to be able to control things quite as well against the boss because they're very fast moving, and I think they have higher initiative. I'm hoping they'll just break off from that and come over here and attack us, because if they make us fight them over there... Yeah, my concern is that we're going to end up not being able to include Endgear's garrison. I don't know. We'll see what happens at the beginning of next turn. So, research. Probably bread and circuses before public works, even though public works is very important for our quest because, you know, approval. Our approval levels are bad. They must become good. Hot take. It's better when things are good than it is when they are bad. Although I have certainly been, <laughs> I've certainly been known to enjoy a bad thing. Not in spite of its badness, even, but because of it. Well, that's not a huge amount of dust at all. Uh, somebody else has 4,000 dust in the bank. Yeah, I could see that coming. Uh, we could recruit another hero by... Sir <laughs> Are you joking? Is every single quest ruin going to be at the maximum northern edge of the map? Alright, like I was saying... It's, it's partially my fault, but it's also partially not my fault. Uh, I do think we should push to get this done now because we're finishing we're finishing roads in multiple other regions. So yeah, let's let's make that happen. That'll be better for our dust. So that thing is not occurring. And they did in fact come to me. How lovely of them. They're fast as hell in both movement speed and initiative, so this is going to be a little bit uglier. I am going to have you continue to not participate in the battle if possible. Right, I kind of figured that we wouldn't get a choice. Now, the good news is these ones are um, these ones are cavalry units, and so our militia units have a significant bonus against them, as all militia are spear wielders. One of the ways that they make using cavalry in a uh, in sieges kind of a pain in the ass, which I actually think is really that's fun design. Okay, maybe this one could be chock full of dust. Okay, it was cool. We got heroes to buy, y'all. Uh, so I mean, we have a region up here with Palladian in it. We don't know too much else about it, but. Maybe this is promising. We're probably going to need to expand more than we have, is my suspicion. 
Also, I realize I'm sitting real far away from the mic. My positioning and microphone technique matters way more <laughs> with this uh, with this more sensitive mic than it did with the previous one. Uh, but I still have not actually developed a good instinct for the technique. It pleases us to see small, poor, unthreatening empires like yours. Good, good, cool. I'm so glad you called. Uh, okay, so now that we have Shipyard, there is a sea ruin over here that we could go check out. We don't see any others in the immediate area. I kind of want to hang out in this region, though, because, you know, there's going to be an eclipse eventually, and we have this nice cluster of temple ruins. Oh, cool. Green put down in this region the instant I started looking at it. Definitely fun and not suspicious at all. Oh, we've formally met Red. Uh, and here's Green. Uh, the thing about Green is they're really into Vore. You know, it's a, it's a tough trait to, to, to sit with. You can see why they don't have a lot of friends. They got a big army of masterminds and dredges. So the mastermind... Oh, right, you can't see... Can't see the actual stats of a unit while it's in a ship. Uh, masterminds are basically total garbage units, but they're not supposed to really be used for combat. Ah, uh, yes, and we've met Red, and, you know, maybe it's worth... Maybe it's worth going to someone and asking for a map exchange. That might be really helpful. might be willing to do such a thing. You are indifferent to me, you are dismissive of me, and then of course we know Pink also pretty dismissive. I'm assuming Green knows a lot about the area around us. Oh right, if I don't have the ability to I I didn't I didn't get the the technology that lets us do uh, peaceful contracts. <laughs> we don't know diplomacy yet. We never figured that one out. And we kind of don't have time to go back and get it right at the moment. We're very busy. Hoping that they will not harass me as I as I pick up ruins here. We could meet blue as well. Uh, somebody has attacked and defeated ten armies of other empires. You don't say. Okay, so they jumped back on land, and that did not even cost them very much movement. So green, as ever, content to be just a huge piece of shit. For some reason, I was given an update on that quest, despite the fact that somebody else finished it, but there we go. It, it, correctly, it correctly notes that I did not do it eventually. Oh, there's a bloom. It's so hard to tell when you haven't searched a ruin. The the yellow sparkles of I haven't been searched look very similar to the yellow sparkles of I am covered in spores. Mm, we're just going to have to get right in. We're, we're going to have to get in the water like immediately here. It's not really. I was hoping to be able to. Uh, to hang out near this ruin at least while we wait for uh, the dust eclipse to happen. Yep, and they settle the city directly on the edge of my empire, like touching my empire. I'm having bad feelings, y'all. Bad feelings about where this is all going. So with the, uh, with the gold booster up, we are at least pushing toward that new hero relatively quickly. This coming turn, right? This is when we'll... Eh, sort of. It depends on which one we want. Run! Oh, and of course, this is the turn my pillars run out to, so... Maybe we wait a turn.
this is going to take me to 40, which actually is a, that is a change. 40 puts us at content, so that's a pretty high priority. Uh, you're going to want yours as well. Probably next. Although bread and circuses is going to help a lot too. Ah, uh, we should still we should still get those sewers up. Cuz right now we're partially riding on um luxury resource boosters which we cannot necessarily rely on to be up all of the time. All right. So, on this coming turn, is there anything that we really would want to be able to jump on immediately? Shaman Rawiri gives no governor stuff. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm comfortable just restarting the pillars and, and giving this an extra turn or two. Uh, where do we want to do that? Do we want to help... Do we want to help Soth, maybe? I don't know. It, it probably makes the most sense to give these cities more of a push. I'm going to choose this one because it is closer to other players. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this Pradeki. I guess we just sail around. Oh, they brought, <laughs> they brought their uh, their Urken over here to make sure it is understood that this is not my territory. I'm getting it. I'm getting the message. So the final Urken has emerged. Again, real close to green. Nowhere near me. We needed to, I think probably what needed to happen here was once I recognized that I was way at the edge of the map, I should have tried to expand north faster. We should have tried to get into sort of the center. I'm a little leery about doing that because of course it means that you can end up with enemies on a lot of different sides of you, but at the same time, you know, it, like the thing that has happened to us can happen, right? You you may need to be able to access events that are occurring in the world. All right, well, we'll get that ruin eventually. We'll get a new hero next turn, and then we'll redistribute our people a little bit. And I do not have a good sense of how we're going to win here. To some extent, we can hope that the AI jealously keep each other down, keep each other from winning. That is definitely a real thing that does happen sometimes. And then we just sort of quietly do a do an all right job in the corner until the point of the game where doing an all right job has been enough. I've won games that way before, but you're definitely relying on some amount of luck when you do that. Because it's also possible that the player who is leading will just win the war that is declared against them, right? Uh, so we could still take End on the Seer. I mean, so Soyala Tocho is fine. There's nothing wrong with Soyala Tocho. We'd have to wait until next turn. Food efficiency one is, is fine, I guess. Uh, Ipsa Wacha and Soyala Tocho are the same guy, right? Oh no, one of them is industry efficiency, the other one has industry boost. Also, you're level three. So yeah, I do in fact, I do in fact think that Soyala Tocho is where we want to go. Um, so maybe what we do is we wait one more turn with everybody on dust so that after buying them we still have, still have a fair amount of money left over. And then next turn. Next turn we'll redirect people off of dust focus. So my total population is is fine. Can we get a sense of like where I'm at population wise relative to the other players that we know? Well, I'm doing better than the guy who only has one city at least. Yeah, I think I think I've been I've been too content to sit in my little corner. The um the mega pole was a gambit that really did not pay off for us. 
And I don't mean to talk like I think the game's over, because we're not we're not in that position. But it's not good. Also, I am noticing the time here, and unfortunately, this one uh, this one is gonna have to be just a little bit shorter than they often are. We might we might just go a couple more turns. I do want to see what's in that ruin though. And this region is also green now. Is this due to Urken movement as well, or did they settle this one? Well, it's probably it's probably a settle, right? Because they only own, I think, one. Yeah, one of the Urkins is unaffiliated, and the other one's blue. So this is at least a three-region island that they settled two of the instant we set foot on it. Which, in, in one sense, that's very disheartening. It feels very much like a targeted attack on me. In another sense, that means that we were almost fast enough, you know, so you, you can sort of take heart a little bit from that, I guess. Let's go ahead and take the first couple of levels on you. All right, we need to de-emphasize dust at this point. Let's get these granaries finished. Okay, you finished yours already. So I'm inclined to just go like hard population push on you. We need, if we're gonna recover from this, we do and we do need a big city. It's going to be hugely valuable for us to have a very large city. Get yourself a granary, and then we should probably actually get that titanium extractor, I suppose. Uh, and we are not doing a great job of keeping our approval levels up, which makes it a little bit nerve-wracking to to consider like a lot of expansion. Start building building cities out and, and building extra districts and stuff, but you know, maybe we need to. Oh right, I was gonna see who was it that defeated a lot of other players' armies? Where, where was that one? Okay. So we do not know what is up with this player, but they are doing pretty well and they are making war. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get out here and meet some people. All right, well that is gonna be your job, intrepid little Burdecki. All right, we got roads through the majority of the empire now. We can we can move around quickly in case of need for defense. We have internal trade routes going. It's still not enough to solve all of our dust problems, though. Oh no, I spawned a huge army in the ocean. Uh, eliminate all the pirates in this region. I do not think that I will be doing that. One of each type of vessel. Yeah, that's... Off the table, for absolutely for sure. And yep, this is a real, a real, actual large city. Well, I gotta tell you, I feel pretty doomed. And yeah, we're going to need to build a bunch of districts in order to be able to keep up here. In order to be able to catch up here. Because a, uh, a lot of our biggest benefits are going to scale with the number of districts we have. But gosh, it's hard to find time and influence, or time and, and approval in which to do that. Coming up on, so when Public Works is finished, then we just build, we build a museum somewhere. It doesn't actually matter which city we build it in. Although, it, does it require... Ah, uh, shoot. The museum requires both. I thought I thought I remembered it just costing adamantian. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get some palladian somehow, too. I don't even know... Trade, I guess? Uh, you know what? Trade's an okay answer. Maybe, maybe we can trade for some. Or maybe I'll get lucky in this sea ruin that we're about to search. We'll, uh... We'll cough some up. How did pirates even get over here? That's weird, right? Do you think they just picked up their boats and carried them across the landmass? Cause it's not a it's not a small distance. Nope. Don't you dare it. <sighs> well, we're dead now. Yeah. 
Yep. Actually dead. He spawned a naval unit just for the purpose of harassing my one guy. There's like no, there's no benefit to this move at all. Green has been a powerful, oppressive force on our, uh, on our game so far here. All right. Well, with this sort of grim note, I think, I think this is where we're going to call it, uh, here for today. Thank you all so much for watching. For the moment, we're going to keep, we're going to keep plugging on here. We're going to keep hoping that the AI will get in each other's way enough to allow us entry back into the game. I mean, this is one of those situations where like we basically only have one way we can win and so we have to play toward that one way and hope it hope it becomes available uh, so we will we will continue to strengthen internally and prepare to grasp uh, victory as it falls from the jaws of our more powerful opponents should such a thing occur so come back next time for more progress toward that and we'll see you then <laughs>